Hi everyone, all around the world. I'm Jeff Teague, I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. Do me a favor, before we look at this TRD Sport, just leave a comment, tell me where you're watching in the world right now. Let's see how powerful social media is. Somebody might be in Minnesota, and right here in North Carolina, and Texas, and India, and Ireland, and Africa. Let's see them. Now, 2022 Forerunner TRD Sport, Army Green, how can it be a combination of a really good value, luxury and refined, and tough and rugged? Woo! Might be everything. Who might be interested in this? Well, somebody who wants a Forerunner, of course, but then you want a nice smooth ride with this x ray suspension, the same one that you find in a Forerunner Limited, which is known for having a nice smooth on-road performance. And then it's a lot less expensive than a Limited. So you get one, two, three different types of benefits. You could be one of those people. I'm gonna walk around the vehicle and give you some identifying markers so you can pinpoint that this is a TRD Sport. It has a color keyed front grille. It has a hood scoop. That might be a tip off that you're looking at a TRD Sport. It also has 20 inch alloy wheels. These ones are different from a Limited, which also has 20 inch alloy wheels. The Limited has black, gloss black accents. This one has dark gray accents. And of course, we see on the side TRD Sport badging. Let's look inside and what we'll find, a difference between this and the Limited. Limited's gonna have leather seating. This has soft tech seating, which is a synthetic leather. It's easy to clean, stays cool, it's resistant to drink spills, and it's very comfortable, environmentally friendly, lasts a long, long time. Hey, look at that, we've got TRD right there. It also has gray accent stitching all throughout the seats, and you'll see it inside the cabin as well. And then here's the view. from the back seat. Back seats, back. All right. You're gonna find LED headlights here, LED fog lights here. Everything's color keyed. Not much use of chrome, except for the Toyota badge and a little accent on the top part of the grill. TRD Sport comes in two wheel drive or four wheel drive. This is the two wheel drive, which means it has a nine inch ground clearance. If it was four wheel drive, it would be 9.6 inch ground clearance. We're going to focus in on a couple things. Number one, you'll see the hood scoop here. If you like that look, TRD Sport could be one for you. And then we're going to focus in on this front camera. It works with three other cameras on the vehicle. The front, then we're going to have the side mirrors, driver and passenger camera, and then we've got one behind the vehicle, which is a traditional backup camera. Those four allow you to see around the vehicle, in front of, along the sides, behind, overhead model. It's really helpful for parking lots and tight spots where you might be getting a little bit too close, so this could help prevent a fender bender. Let's talk about engine performance now. First of all, it's got lifts. Let's do the lift, Johnny. Then we've got a 4.0 liter V6 engine that's matched with a five-speed automatic transmission. That gives you 270 horsepower, 278 pound-feet of torque. It's not a rocket speed vehicle, but it's not meant to be either. This is tough and reliable and durable, and it's gonna last you on the road, off the road. This is tried and true, my friends. Let's go underneath the vehicle while I describe x ray Sport Enhancement Suspension. That's X-R-E-A-S, Cross-Linked Relative Absorber System. And so the diagonal sides, the front drivers, cross-linked with the rear passenger suspension, and that gives you a smooth on-road ride. And so in the past, if you wanted that x ray of suspension, well, you would have to go with the Limited. And you might want those luxury upscale features. This TRD Sport does not have as many luxury features, but it's thousands of dollars less expensive than a Limited. So that might be one reason why you choose TRD Sport. Better value. My coffee mug says, world's best boss, because I am the world's best boss. My employees love me. They would do anything for a ride in this. That's what she said. Just look at this profile, this frame, this body on frame design, right? That means the body and the frame bolted securely together. 
it can handle off-roading, it can handle on-roading, and of course, this is probably something you'd choose for more on-road performance, but again, you could take it on the trails if you wanted to. It just doesn't have off-roading resources you might find in a TRD off-road or a TRD Pro, that type of a vehicle. Now, let's focus in on this. I like that it has turn signal indicators here. It also has blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. You'll see as a factory option, the technology package that adds that. The wheels here are 20 inch and you can see the dark gray accents. On a limited, it would be gloss black here where you would see the gray. But this is a nice wheel design. It has the Chrome Toyota logo here. Boom! Now you know it's a Toyota, right? Well, I think it looks great for the type of vehicle that it is. And it's kind of a combination of sporty, but also upscale. Now these tires here, P24560 R20. Now we know. Fuel facts you might be interested in. We've got a 23 gallon fuel tank. Well, that's not the fuel tank, but you know what it's connected to. And then we've got fuel mileage estimates of 16 in the city, 19 on the highway, 17 combined. Here's the Forerunner key fob. Has lock, unlock, and then the panic, you hold that down. Toyota symbol. What's important about this one is the front doors are auto lock and auto unlock. So I can put the key in my pocket, walk up to it, unlock, and then lock it right like that. Forerunner has a 5,000 pound tow capacity and it comes equipped with a hitch and all of your wiring harness hookups. Then it's got the backup camera. In Chrome, we see the badge, the name, and then look at this, the window's down. Whoa, diver down. All right, what happens here? Well, from the front, I can control the back glass. It's perfect for getting air to backseat passengers and also to animals that are back there. Your puppy wants some air, right? All right, and then we've got this matte black bumper protector and then let's open it up you can get a sliding rear cargo deck like this one or you can have just an empty compartment not third row seating and this one holds 440 pounds yo so I always like to say you can watch the fireworks you can watch your kids game you can certainly tailgate what else can you do tailgating well what I say you can do plug in a blender You can store things. You can tie things down. Dexter could use that. This would be a great kill room for Dexter. Can you see the plastic right there? All around the Forerunner inside. Now if you want the seats to fold down, well, climb aboard. They're expecting you, the love boat, doo -doo -doo, taking your forerunner to the seas. Look at that, nice and flat, right? The love boat, singing while I do a demonstration. See, that distracted me. Do the bottom first, and then this. Now we've got a flat surface so we can stack up. And then look down, and you can see this lever to the side of the seats. That's how you recline the seat back. So see, so you can have your seat more upright, or I can recline it, and it's a quite a bit of a recline, actually, so you can chill out on a trip, which is nice. Now, these seats here, they do not go forward and backward. They're fixed. So you're kind of set where you're set. And then the legroom, though, it's really good behind the driver because I have the seat more forward. And I'll put this one back, and I'll even recline it. And look, you still have plenty of legroom, plenty of headroom. This is a place for backseat passengers to get comfy on trips. And then inside, things that I notice, I notice the old bleep handles, the grab handles, they're all around. But watch what else I notice. Look at the visibility. So few blind spots in this vehicle. For the size that it is, you would expect to see some hindrances to your visibility. Not with Forerunner. One of the charms of it, I think. Now, let's pull this down, and you can see a nice, soft, squishy, but padded armrest. And then here you can use smaller drinks or a little bit bigger drinks. 
Okay, now let's go down here. You can see pockets, netting, so I can put my hand in there. I guess you could put laptop, iPad, books, things like that. Rear air vents, nice for second row passengers. Also two different USB ports. The driver's side has a power eight-way seat. So we'll come over here. It's got lumbar support. The back of the seat right here can go up and down. And then like it shows, you can go up, down. You can twist it. And then you can go forward and backward, of course. Right here, we've got all one touch windows. So if I wanna just move that one up with one touch, it does that and same thing all four windows do that which is a huge benefit now what about storage in the seat or in the door we've got bottle holders right here and they go up pretty tall so you could use a sport bottle and then you could put hopefully not but you could put trash there oscar the grouch would like that then we got hood release that's the parking brake this is for the panoramic view monitor. We'll push that and see that. You can see around your vehicle, along the sides of your vehicle. Cool, right? Some other buttons here. This is for your windshield wiper de-icer. We'll come over here and I'll show you the heated grid lines. Just like this. So you can melt ice that might collect on your windows this time of year. The Northeast, out West, hopefully not North Carolina. This one draws power to the back. Your mirror adjustment, brightness of the dash. And then this is your automatic high beams. We have a leather wrapped steering wheel, fog lights, off, on, regular lights. This is for your lane departure alert, your radar cruise control. We've got phone pickup, phone hang up, voice commands. This one, if you hold it down, it will mute the sound. And then we can control our volume. We can also go back if we've got a message there. Push that, it goes away. And then this goes through your touch keypad multi-information display so it's not really a keypad but I think you know what I mean maybe so cool 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 lane departure alert radar cruise control that's a message if you would have low tire pressure or maintenance due soon lane departure alert settings pre-collision system blind spot monitor rear cross traffic alert and then vehicle settings the passenger seat does not have a power seat. It has a slide bar. And then it has, this is for the back of the seat right here. So, does not have height controls, just so you know. But we can see the gray accent. Pretty soft seats. They're comfortable, that's for sure. Seats are very comfortable. Oops. Let's look at the accent pieces here. More to see, more to see. I guess you could put something here. Maybe a pen or a pencil? I don't know. It's a little thin strip. Metallic accents, a dark gray accent to go up and break up. I'm a big fan of breaking up the interior, not just all one shade, one color. Now looking here, to me the highlight is the eight inch multimedia touch screen. It's been modernized as of the 2020 model year. You will not find any off-roading tools like locking rear differential, crawl control, multi-terrain select like you would see on a TRD Pro or an off-road. Plane. Coming back down here, we're grounded. <laughs> so we also have TRD Toyota Racing Development on the shift knob, and you'll see TRD Sport mats. This is a place maybe you could put your cell phone, you could put your phone there, maybe here. We've got USB and 12 volt circular plug-in here. 
let's go in the center console. This is for the back glass. Might as well put that up since I'm done with it. That was easy. See, that's what you want with controls. That was easy. That's what you want to be able to say. So, I've got another 12 volt circular. Pretty good amount of storage room. Pretty deep there. We've also got tissue box, holder. Let's go to the glove box. Around and around and around. It holds a manual plus a lot more. Pretty big storage area, actually. So this is recirculated air. I love these nice, chunky, work-like controls. These knobs are huge. That's what she said. And then we've got control where the air comes out. And then this one right here, let me turn down the sound. Satellite radio. You can also just push a button. Before you start, Tune to Howard Stern, Sirius XM. Howard Stern. Nice. Some other things that could benefit you. The flashers here. The clock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the clock. Now we've got our home screen. You can customize your home screen to have three pieces of information four pieces, two pieces of information, and you select which information you want. The map's not available on this particular one, but menu can give you how you set up your phone. It'll say phone is not registered yet. Would you like to? You can do it that way. You can go through tracks of your music, phone, and then different apps. I'm sure you don't really have any here, but that's what you do. If you notice, this is a feature that we really like on trips because you can block out the sun. Might as well be blocking out the sun. This does not normally have LED lights up top. It has an LED light upgrade that's been added to this one, but it does have an auto dimming rear view mirror, a sunglass holder, what? This is how you turn your traction control on and off. Home link is up above. A lot of times you see it on the mirror here Nope, up above. And then safety connect. It's Windows sticker time. We got to learn more about this one. Two wheel drive, you can get it of course in four wheel drive as well. It's made in Japan, Army Green. Safety ratings here. Here's the fuel mileage that I was telling you about. Standard features. X Reyes Sport Enhancement Suspension in the house. Safety, exterior features, full-size spare tire in case you were wondering, and then interior features. And then look here, we've got the TRD Sport hood scoop, the black roof rails, color keyed front grill bar. Then we got the TRD badging. Here's the standard MSRP price, 40,150. It's got a sliding rear cargo deck. Keep it wild savings, take some off the top technology package blind spot monitor rear cross traffic alert look at that get it delivered to the dealerships that's the cost and then like i always say each vehicle individually has no options a lot of options are some this one has some toyo guard platinum led interior lights all weather cargo mat and then that'll take it to ugh, get that steady 43 582 well, I guess this is wrap up time. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas and the holiday season. Thanks so much for watching. What do you think about Forerunner? Are you a fan of TRD Sport? What things do you like about it? What things would you change? Maybe there are some things you don't like. Some food for thought. And remember, if you haven't left a comment yet about where you're watching from in the world, leave that. Let's see where everybody's watching. It'll be fun to see if we can go around the globe, spanning the globe. I'm on Instagram. You'll see pictures and videos at Toyota Jeff One. And then I have a sister channel that looks at all brands. We do weird reviews, quirky reviews, just all manufacturers. That's Auto Jeff Reviews. Toyota Jeff Reviews here, Auto Jeff Reviews everything. I'd love it if you join that channel and see what you think. Even if you're not a fan of the other brands, you just like Toyota, it's fun to know 
what features and options and ride styles and technology is available out there in the world so you can compare, contrast, and make fun of if you're a Toyota fan. Anyway, thanks everybody again. Woo! See you guys next time. Peace.